Hey, how you doing? This is my new video for Oprah's show. I haven't, wow, I haven't done this on the uh, Oprah's own network for a long time. I did one video with Dr. Oz a long time ago, but recently I just been wanting to get a little bit more out there for, uh, I guess, spiritually wise, men mind wise. Uh, you know, I studied a lot of the motivational speakers, Tony Robbins, Stephen Covey, and uh, every time, you know, I, I, I don't really read anything. I listen to my car on the way to work because that's the best time I feel focused and I focus so I'm sitting in traffic on the way to work and I get to listen to him. Uh, there's a new guy, Brendan Bouchard, uh, the millionaire messenger. You know, I, I, I was on low in life and you know, listen to his new book right now. It just kind of sparked me again. So I call myself like a retread because I keep going and coming down. And sometimes when, when you're at your job, like when I'm at my job or you're out, you know, talking with friends, you know, we all have some of these negative people in our lives. You know, but you, if you have to deal with them at work or they're surrounded in a group of your friends or family, you know, it kind of is hard to stay positive and you're trying to stay positive and shoot for the stars and it feels like you got the weight of an external gas tank of the space shuttle on you holding you down. You know, so that's what the title of this is. You're trying to stay positive when you're surrounded by negativity. You know, a lot of it is, I believe, is you had to tra uh, you know, train your subliminal, your subliminal mind. You know, with with doing that, like on a daily basis, you just got to reiterate what your dreams, what your goals and what your desires are in life. And that's one thing that I do. I recently wrote a book. It was self-published, you know, but it was something that I wanted to commit to where on a daily basis, I thought in my mind, you know, this is what I want to do. This is what I have to do it. So if there's something that you want to achieve in your life, when you see these negative people, you know, for one, I always try to change the subject, and they know I do. They, I'm a positive person, so if they tell me how bad it is, this, that, and the other, I always say, well, you know, I, I just hit their nerve and direct them to somewhere else and say, oh, yeah, well, what about the Bears game yesterday, or what about this right here, just to get them off that negative mindset that they've had. And, you know, like the JG rapper says, when you walk away from that person, I'm like, man, dust your shoulders off. Just get rid of that negativity and keep going forward. You know, if you have to, smile Put a big grin on your face and think of something silly that happened to you recently to put yourself back in your regular state of mind. But if there's something that you want to commit to do, like your dream or your goal, you know, mine's right now is that, you know, I, I want to sell 100,000 books. I want to be in the bestseller list. You know, so all the time I'm just telling myself I'm going to sell 100,000 books. I'm going to sell 100,000 books. And when I come home, I'm on the internet trying to market my books. You know, with my job industry, they're they're cutting back, and it's it's getting really shaky in my industry. So I could be there just worrying about that, like, oh my God, you're, I'm you know cutting my hours, and you know really shaky about that. You know, and and part of me is like that, but the stronger part of me is like, well, that gives me more reason to do this. You know, so so everybody else at the job is just negative, doubted Thomas, negative, doubted Thomas, and I keep telling them. Try something else. What else are you going to do? Try something new. You got all your eggs in this one basket. You know, why well, I can't do this. I'm too old for this. Uh, that's all malarkey. Everybody, we can do anything we want right now. This is the day and age of the internet. You know, so so there's really anything that, that we want to achieve or do we could. So like I said, my whole thing is to, to help me stay positive around the, the negative people in life. You know, when they're talking negative, I either move away, take myself away from it, or I just kind of change the subject really abruptly, change the subject to try to interrupt their pattern in their mind to get their mind off of that somewhere else. You know, if you feel like you're having a huge problem in life right now, the average person in life focuses 90% on that big problem. You know, oh, I got this problem, I got this problem, I got this problem. It's the way holding you down and you're being a negative person. Don't be like the average person. Focus 10% on the problem enough to realize what it is and 90% on the solution. The solution is like, okay, that was the problem, but this is what I'm going to do to fix it. This is what I'm going to do to go around the situation to help it, to alleviate it. You know, with the economy the way it is, the income what everybody has, we all have to be a little bit more creative in what we're going to do to, 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 to bring in the little extra income. You know, mine was to write a book and I'm, uh, you know, marketing the book. But I just want you to stay positive because it, it, in, in this economy, it is very hard to stay positive. But if there's enough positive people together, you will succeed. Thank you very much. Goodbye.